Happy day to you. Good morning from California. We're gonna start with a mini band if you have it. I'm Maeve, this is Coram Booty. Let's do this. I snapped my band on, on Monday because I'm so strong. So strong. <laughs> no, it was old. Um, and now I have a new one. It's gonna be really hard. That was my my whole speech to tell you that I'm gonna be suffering over here. <laughs> in a good way, suffering in a wonderful way. But I have a brand new band that's gonna be tough. All right, around your ankles, please. Lower leg. The lower down, the harder it is. So if you need to make your band a little easier, which I might have to do because it's a new one, let's do that. We're gonna take a little, kind of pop your butt back a little bit, pull your belly back, good morning. And then we're just gonna tap out. You're gonna hold this as your base position. Because this class is only 30 minutes, we like, we hit the ground rolling here. It's fast and furious and hopefully wonderful. Anything can be modified. This can be done without a band. Good, good. I know how much it takes to get here. I know you're doing it from home or wherever. It still takes a lot to get here. I'm doing it from home. It still takes a lot to get here. So I'm going to just take a moment right now and acknowledge that you did that. That you opened your phone, your computer, your iPad. You decided to be here. And that's something special. That's something, something special. Almost out. I'm just going to turn sideways. We're going to keep the same kind of rhythm going. We're going to go back. The leg that's not moving is fully rooted, fully grounded. And in the balance of that foot, that foot really kind of imprinting down, you're tapping right into those hips. Of course the moving leg is doing a lot of work, that glute for hip extension here. Check in with your posture. I like to slump my shoulders. Check in with your posture. Again, again. Last four right here. Four, three, two. We're gonna take this band off. Beautiful, well done. Grab some dumbbells if you've got them. If you don't do it without, you're going to step back, three, two, one, pull it up. That's it, just that. Here's what I'd like for you to kind of focus on. The front leg, that glute, is really catching you when you step back, and it's pulling you up by pressing that foot down. The glute of the back leg is helping to stabilize, so you're squeezing it here. So both sides are working, they're just doing different things. Two more, please. One more, one more. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna stay on that leg that we just worked. That, or we worked both legs, I just made a point of saying that. The front leg, you're gonna stay on that front leg. You're gonna tip over, single leg deadlift. We're in a staggered stance here. So getting a little more into that hip. Good, if you came in after I introed myself, I'm Maeve, I'm so glad you're here. Yes, 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 you look so good. Beautiful. Spine stays long, really nice. 
When you're hinging at that hip, when you're bowing your spine forward, contain around your spine all those core muscles drawing in. Ooh. Last two. One more, one more. Beautiful, good. I'm gonna cross my ankle with my thigh. It's a little bold holding dumbbells. I don't know if I trust myself, but I need a little I need a little stretch there. Okay. We're in our second side. Three, two, one. Bring it up. Both knees bend. Imprint that front foot. Front glute catching and driving. Back glute stabilizing. Again. Yes, 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 yes. So good. Don't stop. We gotta be balanced. Three more here. Two more, two more. One more, one more. Beautiful. Just take that moving leg, pop it a little bit behind. Single leg or staggered stance deadlift. Spine stays long. Don't let the weights pull you forward. Resist against that. That's where your core really, really kicks in here. I'm using eight pound weights, they're not that heavy. And I still feel it. Really focus on pressing the hips back here and then driving down and up. So down in the foot, and then driving up. So not necessarily forward. I know we think that way sometimes in deadlifts and we end up going here. Think about going taller. Get as tall as you can right there. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Beautiful, yes. When that hip goes back, the spine goes forward. Two more, come on. One more, one more. Beautiful, weights come down, please. We're gonna bring them like toward the top, if you're using a mat, just Directionally, I'll give you more instruction in a second. We're going to be in a plank. We're going to use our weights to tap into our muscles of twisting, even if we're not twisting. So you start on hands and knees. This is where you start. I have my weights on my right side. My hands are in front of my weights. Channeling plank, so strong glutes, belly in, reach over with my left hand. Take one weight, pull it over. Other weight comes over. Restabilize. Left hand down. Right pulls from left to right. This can be done in a full plank. And you're not trying to move all over the place. You're trying not to do that. Holding your center like crazy. I get emotional about life. The lost ones keeping me up at night. The world be reminding me it's danger. I still risk it all for a stranger. If I told you who I am, would you use it against me? Right or wrong, no stone, just love to send me. I hope I'm not too late. Tons you of control. I know I made you wait. But how much can you take? I hope you see the God in me. I hope you can see. And if it's up, stay down from me. Yeah. Baby, you make me. Take your time. There's no rush here. Quality of movement over quantity of repetitions.
One more each way. And beautiful. All right. I'm gonna keep one weight. You're gonna bring it behind your knee. Of course, this is optional. If you're using a weight, you're really kind of hugging it so it doesn't fall out. You can also use a mini ball here. I was kind of debating which one I wanted to do, but I decided to go with the weight today. You can squeeze the ball between your calf and your hamstring. Nice, strong position. Foot goes up, knee out to the side. Up and out. Here's my big ask. Pay attention to your spine. And try not to just make it the biggest range of motion possible. Make it the biggest range of motion possible without compromising your spine. Meaning, don't arch the back here. Don't lean off to the side when you're going out to the side, yeah? So it's like clean, specific. You're in lockdown in your center. You're never rigid. There's always a sense that there's some softness there. You're minimizing any movement in your center. Two more like this. One more. Beautiful, take the weight out. Come down onto the forearm opposite of the leg that was working. I was working my right leg. Your leg's gonna come up. You're just gonna pulse it up. A little external rotation in the hips, or at least in that bottom one, maybe in the top one a smidge. Again. Now, how small can you make this? How precise? So instead of lifting and lowering big, make it teeny tiny. Focus on the top end, keeping that contraction. And then hold it up, just hold it to its highest point. Make the leg as long as you can. Push down into the ground with anything that's on the floor, anything foundational, push it down. Good, keep holding. Isometric, isometric, hold it, hold it, hold it. Everything strong. Your knee is going to tap your elbow here. Tap in. Extend. Yes. Standing in line to see the show tonight and there's a light on. Heavy glow. By the way, I tried to say I'd be there. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Eight. Seven. One more. Good. Stay on this form. Just turn it in. Come up into a form plank. Hold it. Hold it. Top leg maybe comes up. Pulse. Pulse. Lift. You came to work. Come on. Yes. Go. Four. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Second side, flip it around. <laughs> Weight behind the knee if you want. Ball is just as good. Just a little different. Stabilize. So I didn't say this on the first side. I say it every time. I feel like I was remiss. But try not to drop into your shoulder blades. Push the ground away. Spread the shoulder blades. And then equally spread the collarbones. And then we lift. So yeah, we're working glutes here. But do you feel how much core there is to keep this center still? The chili peppers are kind of like the perfect um, 
Mm-hmm. Expression of like how we should be working. It's like there's a softness, like, oh, there's a softness. We're soft, and then also it's like, right? <laughs> and then the work kicks in. We're balancing softness and work all the time. I probably just gave myself good class. You're not done. Two more, two more. You got this. Beautiful. Take the weight out. The same leg that was moving is going to still move. We're here. Lift. Lift. It's about precision. You are 100% in control of your body here. Yes, you are. Forearm is pressing down, hand is pressing down, center is strong, rooted leg is strong, that glute's working. Make it smaller, make it smaller, smaller, smaller. Little more, little more small, how's that? Hold the isometric, hold it, hold it, hold it. Make the leg longer, engage that top glute. Push the leg back a little bit. Should be Bernie. Don't fake it, do it. We tap, tap, extend. Find that full extension every single time. That's why I paused you there to feel it so that you can find it more easily. So nice, well done. Come on, Danny. Yes, yes, Va, come on. I can still see you even if your cameras are off. That's a big fat lie, but I like to pretend I can. Imagine that I can. I feel you, how's that? Come on, Terry, take us home right here. Last four. Four. And three. Two. Yes. Stay down. You're in a side plank, please. Top leg maybe up. Little pulse. Woo. Bring it down. So good. Just you. Just you for the moment. All right. Right foot is down, left knee comes up. So bring your hands to your hips. Just bring some awareness to where you are in space. So anytime we move a limb, things shift. Your hips don't have to be perfectly square, but just feel where you are. If something feels like it's really kind of wonky, fix it. Single leg bridge. Twist. Watch that again. Single leg bridge, extend this leg, twist. You have as much time as you need, always. You don't have to replace your hands every time. You can keep your hands behind your head, but if you feel like you need that stabilization on that single leg bridge, bring your hands back at your side, your arms at your side, it'll give you a little more help. Here, we're gonna go side to side. Two pulses. Think rib cage towards opposite side. 
Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Beautiful. That's so Beverly. Two more. Bring it over. Okay, opposite side. So left foot is down, if you're sticking with me. We've got a single leg bridge. Twist. Please, don't feel rushed. Complete your movement. Done here, almost. So when I don't have my hands at my side, I notice a whole host of things that happen in my single leg bridge. If you're paying attention, sometimes my knee drops in, sometimes my knee drops in and then goes out to the side. That's your body finding stabilization. There's nothing wrong with that. But notice if, like, if I'm stable with my arms, it's like my knee feels like it's tracking. Totally square. So just notice those things. I'm not saying change anything. Be aware. Be interested in your body. One more. You probably did a few extra because I started talking. Hold it here. Pulse. Switch. Pulse. Switch. Switch. Yes, yes, you got it. Last two. Right leg comes down, left leg crosses on top of your right leg. Gotta fix my shorts. All right, left on top, right under, squeeze your legs as one. Squeeze your legs as one, like really wrap them together. And then engage your glutes. When you engage your glutes, that probably picks your back up off the ground a little bit. Like a little bit, not a lot. Shorten from your belly button to your pubic bone. Curl your shoulders up. We pulse here for eight, for seven, for six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Eight more, go. Eight, seven, six. Trunk crunch. Four, three, Hold it up, isometric, hold it. Everything squeezes. Good. There's still some softness somewhere, right? Keep engaging. We got one more round of this. Eight pulses, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Head all the way down. Beautiful, left leg down, right leg on top. Set it up first. You've got a minute to set it up. Squeeze the legs, so wrap the ankles. Feel the calves move together. Thighs move toward each other. Engage your glutes. Notice what that does to your spine. And then starting to shorten from your belly button to your pubic bone. Imprinting your spine down. Hold it. Hold it. Let's go eight times. Lift, 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 lift. Four, three, two, Hold it up, isometric, legs are working, glutes are squeezing, belly is holding. Let's go for eight, eight, seven, six. Hold it, isometric. Eight pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, release it down. Beautiful. Dumbbells at your hips if it's okay. Actually, I lied. I didn't lie, but I got ahead of myself. Band around your thighs if it's okay. And then weights on your hips. You can also use just one, but I like, I like a little more weight here. Glutes are really strong. They're like powerhouse to your body. Feet are wide enough that you feel the band is giving you some grief, okay? A little bit of harassment by the band. And then your hips are gonna come up. And then check back in. If you've set it up so far apart with your feet that you can't keep your knees lined up to your toes, bring your feet a little closer together. Hold it up, isometric, lengthen out your low back, imprint your feet down. Weights are at like the crease of the hips, mm -hmm. just at the top of the thigh. And then we're gonna go up, up. It's so small, it's just, it's less down, mostly up. Think of it that way. Less down, mostly up. You're almost done. Give me everything you've got. Knees are pressing out into that band. Don't let the band collapse your knees in. I was just doing that. I had to give myself a little check. Don't let the band pull your knees in. Ah. Again, for eight. Four. Three, two, hold it up, please. Hold it up, isometric. Lengthen out the low back, engage a little more. Press your feet down. And then bring it down, beautiful. Weeds off to the side. Weeds off to the side. Ball between your shoulder blades if you got one. Keep that band on. Wrap and reach. Little pressure out into that band still. So I love the ball, I'm gonna say this every time. So if you're in my class every time, I'm sorry if I repeat myself a lot. I love the ball for this sense of extension around it. So you're not just focusing on crunching up, you're controlling this thoracic extension, which, oh, feels so good. And our abdominals, our rectus abdominals, help resist against that. So learning how to control that from your center is vastly important. Next time up, we're gonna hold it up. We pulse, lift, yes, yes. Think about sending your heart back to the ball to curl up, ribs back. Hold four, three, two, and one. Wrap back around the ball, let this serve as a stretch. Beautiful, come off of the ball carefully. Take the band off. I'm trying to leave one minute to give you a nice little stretch on your glutes and your abs. Come up to sitting, please. You're gonna bring one leg across, hug your knee across. So this is less about the twist. The twist is good, but lift the knee up to kind of get into this outer hip here, and then turn the torso. to like make my music remind me to give you this minute. Otherwise, I just keep plowing through. Unravel, go to the other side. Send you off into the world good and ready. Beautiful. Cross at your shins, please. Nice big side bend over. Open up that rib cage, the side waist. Come back up and go to the other side. Come back up, bring your hands behind your head. Drop your chin and then lift it. Press your, the back of your head back into your hands. Let your elbows go really wide and lift your heart up. Take a full breath in, and then exhale, release the arms. You're amazing. Thank you so much for being here.